Hey everyone, it's Plan with Shannon and I am opening my Erin Condren seasonal surprise box real time with you. So all I've literally done is cut the edge so that I could get it open. This is what was presented. It was not sealed this time so I made sure not to even sneak a peek because I just wanted to have a real look with you um, to see what we've got here. So here's the little card. It does tell us what's inside so I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. Um, it says that there is an acrylic board with stand, which is exclusive, an acrylic pencil cup, which is exclusive, sticky note booklet, exclusive, spring cleaning productivity sheet, exclusive, weekly priorities desk pad, exclusive, and then um, functional calendar washi tape, exclusive, wet and dry erase marker duo set, exclusive so i feel like this is like the first time it's been like in almost all exclusive box um then there was the choice of a uh, cover design there is spring tulips or um rainbow stripes in either seven by nine or a five so um also it does mention on here again that um our boxes are able to be flipped so this is what the inside looks like. We are all a work in progress. It's in, it almost looks like a gold hollow. It, no, it's just gold, sorry. It's gold, it's just the way it was picking up on the box. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm gonna keep this kind of to the side as a reference because sometimes when I pull things out, I'm not exactly sure that that's what I was looking at. So. This box was sent to me as part of the EC squad, so I was unable to choose my um, covers, but it looks like they sent me my favorite. So, <laughs> so this is, oh my gosh, I love this. So this has got a super soft um, rainbow line. It's in that May, traditional May color, um, as far as the like peachy color in the background, like a blushy peach. Um, but then it's got that, like I said, that soft rainbow. It says this week's priorities, high, medium, and low. If you guys look at how I set up my work planners, you'll know that I do utilize a table of priorities um, because what feels like a priority sometimes off the top of my head is not always um, what it needs to be. So this is 25 sheets. There's also a to-do list over here and it is not um, sometimes in the past you've been able to like kind of take that off it's not um, perforated but I like it I love these I've been using my other one um, that really long one that was in color blends I've gone back twice to get more um, I love it so actually it does look like they sent maybe all of them so let's go ahead and take a look uh, it's picking up really well this tulip color it is literally fluorescent um pink um fluorescent like a coral this is like highlighter yellow so it is picking up as bright as it is um yep they did oh my goodness this is so much so i will be doing a giveaway um i love it i love this i've just stopped getting my covers personalized because i like to be able to interchange them based on whether it's work or home or whatever planners so i love these and what's nice about this design is um i've had differing uh reasons for using my covers i do utilize like a permanent marker and then wipe it away with a, an alcohol pad but sometimes it's nice to have lines sometimes i don't want lines but i've found that if i want it to go the other way like um for example oh goodness so this would be um, if you were to have it go and you wanted this to be in there, yes, it would be upside down and you can tell because that's there, but I would just put a sticker over top of this if I wanted the smooth board in front versus if I wanted um, this lined. So whichever way you want, you can totally customize it. These are the um, the normal 7x9. Oh, this is new. Okay, I love this. So this would make me use this more um, than any of the past before because it's got like my, I feel like this could be like my month's checklist that I'm actively working on, like put the months 
title here instead of having to flip through the months as well as I like that these are bolder lines I feel like it looks yeah so this is like the traditional version um like I feel like what all my other ones looked like and then you can see the lines they look to be they might be black it looks like a dark dark gray from where I'm at um I love it I like how I feel like this is a much cleaner more um, finished look so I'm super excited about that so this is the inside of the tulips and again they do have that like productivity inside so love 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 that okay so what are you this is beautiful this is number this is not on there is it Is this extra? Sorry, I'm taking so much time. I'm just looking. This is pretty neat. Um, let's open it up. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I believe this is the add-on. I'm so sorry. So this is that daily priority planner. Focus on what is most important. I love that they give you these walkthroughs, like the journaled how-tos um, to kind of start you if you're having a day. Um, I don't tend to use these as much, but when I flipped through, these colors are so bright and pretty. When I flipped through the um, family organizer, which I have been using, I use that as my PR planner. Um, I love the prompts in there because it, it like serves a purpose and it keeps me on track. So this would definitely be something that I could consider for that. So I'm loving it. I like how many pages it is for each topic. So it looks like there's the weekly to-dos and then here we go right into the most important priority today. So it's like each day has one. I'm flipping through a couple at a time. Um, so each week has a new color and each day has its own page. And then how did this week go? What am I proud of? What I've learned? What I let go of? Um, I just love it. I feel like we are definitely getting more towards making something your own um, and it's just say make yourself a priority so my issue with these in the past is that I really haven't been able or found the magical prompts that make it not feel like me time is selfish I know it's totally me um, I also love that this right here matches this so what I will be doing is using this cover system on one of my Erin Condren notebooks uh, one of my seven by nine notebooks and then I'll have that to go directly in correlation with this as a um, a 90 day uh, reset for myself so I like to do 90 days um, at, at a time as far as like short-term long-term goal um, development and you know uh, redevelopment as you're using them so I think this is going to be a great tool so super excited about that so here is the sticker sheet it is so bright and pretty this is it's it's the single sheet but like this is a it looks like almost like a regular like oversized post-it note um, but they are definitely gold foiled here are some trackers that you could use there are titles down here I love it I feel like this is functional and it's also able to be used by um, many for different purposes. So here is that beautiful pen. You can see it is, it is great. I'm loving this. This is so great. Um, so this is that wet erase marker so that we can go ahead and use that on all the surfaces. Again, wet erase works great on all the wet, excuse me, wet erase surfaces. I do use wet erase on my Erin Condren productivity boards. But just as far as in my planner goes, because I don't like, I like a throw and go planner. Like I know that they, that they are an investment and I also understand that like they're beautiful, but if I'm not using my planner, then it's not worth it to me. So I like to use the permanent markers on the inside. That way, as I'm tossing it around, it doesn't rub off on either itself or anything else. And then when I'm done with it, I can literally just use uh, alcohol to clean it off. I also do that on these acrylic desks too. So here's a little acrylic stand. It can go on your desk. It's so super cute. I um, 
Um, I will likely gift this because this isn't really my decor. I like just plain things and plain acrylics, but this is absolutely gorgeous. So whenever I re-gift um, something that is like this, so I use mine, I think I have four active ones. I'm looking at three of them right now at my desk. Um, and they're all used for different things. So some of them are written on, some of them are literally stands that are just nice. And because they're clear acrylic, it doesn't like, um, it doesn't compete with anything else or any motifs, you know, so I just like them. But when I do give these away, I do like to write on them with permanent marker so that like with the little note to who they're to so that people can see and then I enclose like little alcohol prep pads so they can erase it and then once I feel like I've given something like this to somebody who will use it and they see how it's been used I think that they get better use so that's what I personally do when I re-gift them okay so this is that um acrylic cup holder I will 100% utilize this. So it's got, I don't want to call it like the Erin Condren seafoam color on the bottom. It's a real basic bottom too. It's not designed so it will match, you know, as long as you can work that green in. But again, you're not really seeing it. It's very subtle on the side, which is, and again, you're looking straight down into the bottom. So I love this. Um, I will definitely use this. I have several sets of the desk organizer in the acrylic from Erin Condren. Um, I want to say I have like three of them because that's just what I use all the way across with those desk caddies as well um, that are again they're non um, there's no color to them. Um, with the desk caddies it's just a strap. I have um, three gray and two of that blush. All right, so in here is our little notepad. This is going to be our sticky notes. So I'm going to open it up so we can see what they look like inside. And then the last thing that we're going to look at is the washi tape. So here is, we are all a work in progress. That is beautiful. And here we go. So these are all the same color. They are, these look a little bit on the inside. These look a little bit more peachy to me than, um, the notepad. So let me pull the notepad back out. They could be the same. It could just be my lighting. Oh, you know what? It is my lighting. Okay. So these are the same. So it's really, really um, like a dulled peach and in there. And so these are um, post-its. You can see it's got really thick stick. Like it's really good. So it's not going anywhere unless you, you know, take it off. So that's so super exciting. And I just think this is so cute. So this, I would definitely put this, this will go in my car. Uh, I like to have a little notepad in my car so that I can write things down. Um, and this just looks super cute and put together as it is. So it'll be a nice um, add to the car. And then lastly, here are the washies. So there are three of them, it looks like. This was a great box. Like, it's lovely. Um, I know everybody's always like, what is it worth or what is it? I've never gotten a box from Erin Condren. Um, and usually I buy them. This one was, like I said, gifted as part as the, um, as part of the uh, EC squad. But usually um, I buy one. I've never missed a box from Erin. Um, so this is the first one that literally every single thing in here I will use or I already know. Um, I'm just having a hard time getting in there. I'm sorry. Um, I already know who I will gift it to. A lot of times, like I'll get something and I'll be like, oh, that would be a great gift. So I've never not gotten the value. So the $40 is... I don't want to, the $40 is what you pay. The um, $80 is the value. And it, and again, you know, it's to each his own. Just because you wouldn't have bought it doesn't mean it's not going to cost or be that worth that much to someone else. So I try to keep an open mind, but I've never once, even in a box that I have completely re-gifted, never once have I thought it was under $40. So that's always a super nice feeling like I like things to be worth it and I don't often do surprise anythings um, or patreons or anything like that unless I absolutely love everything that they've put out because um, I feel like these are all like it's like a luxury and it's nice to be surprised but I also want it to be worth 
worth it. So, oh, fun. Okay, so I'm just using this as the backdrop so you can see it better. So it says clean, declutter, sweep, mop, organize, vacuum, wash, clean, declutter. Again, so the colors are the same, but it's a repeating strip. Okay, I love this. Absolutely love this. I will 100% use this. This will be used in my daily. Um, I have the A5 Daily Duo, so I will be using that in there. Um, and I'm just gonna leave it as it is and throw it across the bottom. I could, You could easily go ahead and like cut it and line it down, but I don't know, I like it as it is. Um, this is just decorative, so this is super cute. That's just that washi design, very nice. Um, it's definitely sticky, so for those of you who have been with me on this journey with EC for years and years, um, the washi tapes used to not <laughs> stay stuck, um, but uh, the last I, at least two years, um, they've, I don't know what they've changed, but it is 100% like it's sticky. I don't know if you can hear that. So it's, a, it's definitely significantly higher quality and it sticks and it stays and I, I like using it. Um, again, before I loved the colors, like when they first came out, I feel like it's with everywhere. Um, when it first comes out, you've got to try and see your idea on somewhere and you've got to start somewhere. And so I felt like I was regularly having to reinforce or for me, what I would do is just kind of like make sure that I was starting and ending near a sticker because it didn't like just roll off your page, but like the edges would come up sometimes. So, um, so this is again, your priorities, and this is in alignment with both the week's priorities here, as well as in, is it like the little priorities novella? <laughs> so again, um, it's like, what, have, what can I do? What are my priorities? What can I delegate? Um, what can I think about tomorrow? So super great. So it definitely matches. And if you needed to recolor, like if I know a couple of people have specific shades that they're not fond, fond of and just don't find themselves using it, you could definitely um, keep the same verbiage with these and just layer over top because it's, it's um, opaque enough to cover. All right, well, that is a look through my season surprise box. I guess let's go my favorites. Hmm. So I do, I don't know, I have so many. So I love this for my car because I feel like it's just short enough and it can keep me on task. If it's anything more than this, I really do need to be taking out my planner and putting it in there. Um, super useful is gonna be that acrylic. Um, unique that I'm going to make myself use is gonna be this setup right here. I'm gonna use this. Like I said, I'm gonna tack on the matching um, seven by nine notebook that I'll use this on. I already have a productivity notebook and I'll keep this in line so that I can have an entire system. I will start that likely April 1 um, because I'm currently in a 90 day right now for myself. So I will start that April 1 and I'll keep you posted with how it goes. Um, again, not for me, but definitely gorgeous is this organizer here. I literally, my neighbor is going to love this. I can't wait to bring it to her um, and re-gift it. She is a Erin Condren fan uh, and she does have a lot of her like uh, dress labels. I mean they're in a different place like they're retired so she's got a dress labels and she uses like the wall calendar and the desk calendars to keep herself and her family organized. So it's really neat to see like even as I grow through my um phases with Erin Condren that there's always going to be a next phase and there'll always be something for everyone. So thank you so much. I wish you all the best and drop your um, comments below what you loved, what you didn't love. If you have any questions, if you want to see anything used, definitely reach out. Super happy to um, circle back with you. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.